Ever heard of the Chromebook Challenge? It's not a game, it's a fire hazard. Schools are being evacuated all over the nation, and it's also leading to some criminal charges. You found stashed. I'm Pat, firefighter, engineer, and I've got too many teenagers for this nonsense. The old fads are out and the new ones are in. Kids are sticking metal and graphite into USB ports of Chromebooks and other laptops. Why? Pure stupidity. Apparently making sparks, it's uh, Sigma. In reality, it caused quite a few laptops to burst into flames. This isn't just bad behavior. It's dangerous, and it's leading schools to be evacuated all over the country. Graphite from pencils and tiny bits of metal are surprisingly conductive. When shoved into live USB ports, it can cause them to short circuit, and you'll get some sparks and smoke. But you'll also get the batteries to go into thermal runaway. We're seeing that far too often, and that smoke is dangerous. And kids across the country, they're getting warned by school officials. We caution you that anyone that is caught doing so will be suspended. They will be losing their field trip privileges, and they will be held accountable for having to pay for the device. Unfortunately, it's not just smoke and scorched electronics anymore. Just this week, a student in Plainville, Connecticut was hospitalized due to smoke inhalation after she attempted this challenge. The middle school was evacuated, firefighters responded, and they found a Chromebook smoking inside the school. In this case, she stuck scissors into the laptop, and she's going to be facing criminal charges. Today, in the Metro Detroit area, Gross Eel High School was evacuated due to a laptop on fire as well. As you can see, this isn't a small amount of smoke. This is a really dangerous situation, and it could have caused significant damage. Schools in the Pikes Peak region of Colorado, they've contacted the fire department 16 times for different incidents due to this nonsense. It's really difficult to determine how often this has happened, but I'm tracking evacuations in at least eight different states right now, and multiple charges being filed. In Ohio, a 15-year-old is facing felony charges. In New Jersey, a high school student is facing arson charges. It's really getting out of hand. These aren't even personally owned laptops. Almost all these cases involve school-issued Chromebooks or shared devices that are stored in classrooms. If these devices catch on fire near other combustible material, you'll have a deep-seated fire really quick. That's because lithium-ion batteries, they don't mess around. They go from zero to 100 in no time. TikTok has responded. If you search for Chromebook Challenge, you'll get a safety message, and it will lead you to a resource page that will hopefully educate some of these students. But if you can't spell, which is probably an area kids attempting this challenge struggle, you'll still see all sorts of videos on the topic. If you're a parent, ask your kid if they've heard of this challenge. If you're a school administrator or a teacher, check for signs, scorched USB ports, unexplained tech failures, or push pins or pencil fragments stuck in ports. This isn't a harmless stunt. It's a fire hazard, a health risk, and a reminder that lithium ion batteries deserve respect. Let's shut this challenge down before somebody gets seriously hurt. And I really should not have put that Tide Pod in my mouth. It tastes pretty nasty.